Hello Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I don't know what these people are doing, but they're obsessively watching you. And it's like, um, honestly, I don't know. They love what they're seeing. They're completely obsessed. It's like you are their fix. Um, they're addicted to you. Okay. That, and I feel like they have other addictions too. I've got uh, drinking and substance abuse here. So I, I feel like this is something that they do 24 seven, you know, um, and uh, either they're wasted or they're just really hopped up. Okay. Um, anyway, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Right. And thank you, Divine Feminine, for everything. Um, thank you to all of my subscribers, everybody new here. You guys are awesome. Um, so, yeah, I'm seeing you having some kind of huge win here, or you keep winning, you're looking good too, okay? I feel like there's a masculine energy that finds you extremely sexy and attractive, beautiful. Um, you're taking very good care of yourself. You could have had like some kind of makeover done or um, I don't know. I don't know what they're watching you do, but you're, you're growing, you're expanding, you're winning. Um, and they can't seem to get enough of you. The, both of these people, I feel like this is a karmic watching you, but they're kind of keeping quiet about it. I don't know. Maybe they don't, um, they don't say a lot about it or something. And this is a masculine too. They're pretty quiet about it too. Maybe they're not watching you together, but separately for different reasons. I feel, I feel like they're both very surprised and amazed. Um, at what it is that you're doing. You could have a public platform, definitely something online, okay? Um, could be social media, you know, whatever it is that you're doing. They're seeing you, um, like maybe you've had some ma major accomplishment lately and uh, they're watching that. They're absolutely amazed at what you're doing. I don't know what it is that you're doing, but... Um, Spirit, what can you show me? Clarify the substance stuff. Yeah, somebody's in love with you too. Okay, you're very intuitive. So you could be, um, you could, you could be like another tarot card reader or a spiritualist or, um, uh, maybe a, an astrologer, you know, you can teach Reiki. I feel like whatever it is that you're doing, it's an, it's an intuitive ability that you're using. It's a craft that you have or a skill that you have. And they're amazed by you. I feel like it's your psychic ability. You know, there's more than just love in, in the cups, right? Um, Everybody says it's love right off the bat, and it is, but there's also everything you feel and believe in at a soul level, your faith in the divine, right? Um, the fact that you know that you're a blessing, divine being, energy, um, your psychic abilities, your discernment, your intuition, all of that is in this cup. And I feel like people, uh, this is what's amazing them, is your psychic abilities and the fact that you're out here um, successful, abundant, independent, and win after win after win. I feel like you're sitting in this chair. You just keep going, yes, yes, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, and I feel like you're really happy. I'm getting that these people wishing, they're wishing they can do what you can do. Yeah, look, you're, uh, <laughs> it's almost like you're at some kind of slot machine or something here and you just keep winning and winning all of this coin, all of this money heading towards a fortune. And it's because of your psychic abilities. Okay. And you're just floating. You allow the divine to lead you. Okay. You have faith in your path, in who you are, um, in what you can do. You have faith in the messages you're getting from the divine. You're very tapped in here. High priestess energy. This is extremely intuitive. Okay. You're a divine being here with the lover's card. I feel like you're a, div you know, 
um, you're like, you're an earth angel. You're a divine feminine. There's somebody here. I feel like it's your masculine. They do not want to let you go. You're elevating. If you look real close at this picture, okay, this is a feminine, a divine feminine who's elevating, right? You're being pulled up by the universe, okay, by God. And this person, they're not lifting you up. They're holding on to your wrist, trying to hold you back. They don't, they know um, possibly that you're, number one, you're headed for success. You're in the public eye. You're extremely psychic um, and intuitive, okay? You could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Like, you hold this um, in your hand. It's almost like you, you're going places with this intuition. It's in you, Okay? And um, no one can stop it from happening. I feel like these people plan, plot, and strategize, maybe. Um, but they're also so fascinated about what you're doing. Judgment. I feel like this masculine wants to come forward. They're deciding. They're, they're kind of making a decision of who they want to be with. And I feel like that's you. Uh yeah, and they're coming forward. They want to talk. This person wants to talk. They may even be hearing um, the toot of the horn. Like, they're, they're so captivated. They're, I want to say it's captivated by you um, that they, they may feel like they've got to come towards you right now, right now, right? I keep hearing that horn. You could hear... Um, noises around you that are going to alert you that this person is coming towards you. It could be like alarms going off. Like, you know, you go into a store and there's uh, there's someone backing up and they're beeping, right? You walk into the store and um, and uh, some kind of alarm goes off on a, on a cash register. Or, I mean, there's going to be like alarms or something set off a lot of honking horns. Like maybe somebody's um, car alarm goes off or something like that. I feel like that's about when you're going to get a message maybe from this masculine. Yeah, they're seeing you. Ooh, divine feminine. Oh, this person can no longer carry the burdens of staying away from you, I swear. Um, divine feminine, look. Uh, you're everything to this person, and I feel like they know where it is that you're taking your abilities in the future, right? They know that you're going, to, you're going to end up living a life of fortune and fame. I feel people are, yeah, people are going to remember your name for what you're doing now and the kind of abilities that you have. And you're going to have all these opportunities, all this wealth around you. Spirit holds you in high regard on a pedestal. So you've got some high spiritual ranking here with the high priestess and the world. Okay. Yes. Yeah, and that is a big win. I'm telling you, woohoo! Divine collect, or yeah, divine collective. Yeah, well, yeah, divine feminine. Um, this is a lot of success. This is success that you've worked for. This is you transforming your life. These people have been watching you every step of the way. Um, They've been watching you heal. First, they watched you in heartache. And I feel like these people were pretty smug about that part. Okay, they could have laughed at you at first, right? They could have laughed at you, but you, you took your licks like a champion. And I feel like you put all your energy and focus into something, a project or something you were growing or just working really hard. Okay, um, you've got nine pentacles here. The most you can have in the deck is ten. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you're, and you're single. I see you being single out here, moving on with your life, right? Getting a fortune, working on a, working on a fortune. I feel like you are going to have fortune, fame, success, okay? And you keep working and you're happy. You're happy doing what you're doing, okay? And even though you're single, you know you're never alone. 
this bird here on your hand, to me, that's like someone whispering in your ear. You're speaking to the divine. And spirit has led you to all of this success and abundance. I love that. Um, and now you've gotten through a difficult cycle. You've learned a lot, though, from this last cycle. It was probably heartbreaking. You were be you were betrayed, um, probably horribly, you know. But um, look at think, look at where you are now, and and it's all because you allowed spirit to lead you. Okay. The trust and the faith that you have, and those. I mean, these are, these are knock someone over spiritual, spiritual abilities, okay, psychic abilities, like for real, these people are fascinated at how you're changing your life. Now, if these were, I, I feel like this is a divine masculine watching you wanting to come forward. And this karmic is watching you too. Um, whether it's, car, whether they're karmic individuals or divine people, Right, you're leading these people to an, an awakening too. They're unable to get their eyes off of you, so I know they're learning something here from you. Okay, and you're just you're a walking testament of what can happen in your life and how it can be transformed. If you have faith, let spirit guide you. Do the right stuff and put the effort where you where you should. Okay, you're focused too, and you love what you're doing. Yeah, somebody feels like a complete fool. Look, this masculine, they can't keep carrying these burdens anymore. They know that you are their divine feminine. Okay, they know. They know. And the things that, the things you're intuitively picking up on and putting out there, they're absolutely spot on correct. Okay, that's part of the fascination. That's part of the, um, it's almost like they have a, they have like an adrenaline rush when they're watching you, especially when you hit the nail on the head and you're absolutely accurate. Um, I feel like this person may even feel like you can see into their soul or something because you're describing exactly how they are feeling and what is going on and you're accurate about it. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, this person is heartbroken. They're in a lot of pain. See, they underestimated you. They didn't think you would ever be a success. Maybe they didn't know the kind of skills you have here and abilities okay um they thought that you were a peasant right but you have completely flipped on this person you know why because you found the divine because spirit has been with you and because you've listened all right you put your focus where you should into things that you could build for yourself and just following what the divine has said that's all really that you did and now they're, I feel like maybe they've trash talked you here. They could have said a lot about you, said stuff to you. This divine masculine could have been really harsh and nasty to you in the past. They could have, they could have um, put you down a lot. It maybe tried to make you think that you um, didn't have worth, okay? I feel like they made fun of you. I feel like both of these people together made fun of you and now everything that they've said about you um every time they've laughed it's all coming back on them now i feel like now too roles are reversed for this masculine see you're out here happy and abundant and independent and you're just you're doing awesome okay you used to be heartbroken over them but now they're heartbroken over what they missed out on with you because they always had you were always the blessing they just didn't they didn't know what you were capable of they had no idea what you were capable of and the things that you're doing now are blowing them away and they're seeing you do it on your own without their help or you're only getting the help from the divine you see what i'm saying 
now this person wants to come forward after a very long time. I, I feel this is the slowest moving night in the deck. Okay. I feel like they want to try to make things right. They want to try to give you an offer. They're feeling very guarded and nervous and kind of shaky to me. So I know that they've, they've betrayed you in the past and like totally shattered you. I feel like it knocked the wind out of you. But you know what? You got back up. And I, I feel like um, people made fun of you for that, talked about you behind your back. There was a lot of gossip, right? Rumors, lies. You're getting your justice for all of that because this person wants to come back in now, okay? They find you um, irreplaceable, unforgettable, fascinating, okay? Um, captivating, definitely. And, uh, um, yeah, it's, you're just, um, they can't stay away from you. Okay, you could be dealing with a Libra, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be a Virgo, Aquarius, maybe um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But you're moving forward. Uh, yeah, see, I feel like you've been betrayed a few times, a couple times at least. You're still maybe trying to heal, okay? Uh, you're thinking that this is over between you and this masculine but it is not it's not you're trying to put this behind you you don't see as you move forward this person is starting to come in and chase okay um it's that pull of this connection right now you're the runner i feel like they were the runner before and you didn't chase you built yourself up um, but now you're the runner, and now this person is turning into the chaser. Yeah, look, they cannot stop watching you. Oh, my gosh. They may see you having a lot of options around you. This is another thing that's triggering them, okay? Um, they see you having a lot of options, and one of them may be an emperor. So I feel like there's someone new coming towards you. Well, you're going towards them, actually. You could even be making some kind of house move or location change here. You could be um, needing to cross over a body of water to make this location change. That's for someone. Um, just a confirmation. But I feel like, especially around the last full moon cycle, I feel like you made a decision here to move forward. Okay? Especially if this person is still with the karmic. And I feel like that's they are. I feel like that's who this is, is a karmic. She hasn't said much, but she's borderline, like she's got some mental instability as well. And I feel like this is somebody who plans and plots and strategizes. She feels very sneaky to me. But yeah, if there was someone else, you're moving on. Okay. And I feel like this masculine... Oh, boy. They regret their choices, number one, to choose this karmic over you. Because, honestly, they're not mentally and emotionally. This person is not with the karmic. They're not. They're only with the karmic physically. Mentally and emotionally, they're completely fixed and captivated with you. Okay? Yeah, I feel like... Um, they may, be, they may be thinking that you're keeping something secret. Um, I feel like you're absolutely correct. It's almost like, to me, this feels like you dropped a bunch of hidden knowledge. Um, you've been talking about it. You've been absolutely correct. You, it's almost like you drop a bunch of hidden knowledge and then you move forward. Like you put it out there and then you just move on quietly. This person thinks that you're hiding. Maybe they are uh, hiding someone. I feel like they're wondering if you're keeping a new connection hidden because you could be in the public eye spreading spiritual messages. You know, I feel like you're a messenger, um, but you're not necessarily talking about yourself and your future plans or, or um, you're not talking about anybody that you're entertaining 
right? So I feel like this masculine, maybe they're watching you so close because this is studying you, not just watching you, but studying you. Um, trying to find out if you're with anybody else. Yeah, uh, they see you having this new beginning and it's causing them a major tower moment. This is where they get triggered. Boom, to start moving faster, okay? To start chasing, all right? Because you're leaving, they're thinking that you're starting something new with a, with another emperor, and they don't want that. They don't want you with anyone else. This is driving this person crazy. The, all they can think about is you. Jeez. Jeez, I'm telling you. you. It's like you're the addiction here. This person is totally addicted to you, and they don't want you to be with anybody else. The thought of that makes this person panic like they are panicky at this point okay what if they start thinking that you're hiding someone new in your life i'm telling you now oh uh, yeah they're gonna come right they're gonna be taking action immediately immediately okay this person does not want you sharing passion or being loved by anyone else you could be dealing with a Leo Aries Sagittarius, heavy on Sagittarius. Yeah, you're moving on and you're having a massive victory in life. Like you have changed your life around. I feel like Divine Feminine at one point, you may have been in a time of struggle. You know, we've all been there, right? Um, money was tight, work was hard. I feel like, though, you latched on to a creative idea, and you nurtured and grew that thing um, into a major success. Some of you could have just purchased a new car. Some of you could be purchasing a new home. This is a large purchase here, maybe. Moving away. You're definitely moving forward, though, having a major victory. Okay? A huge glow up. And... Um, both of these people are absolutely captivated by you. I, I can't think of a better word. You're about to be asked out as well, Divine Feminine. So you're about to start dating again, and you're, you're manifesting new love as you move forward. Okay, new soulmate connections here. You're balanced in your emotions, so you, you're not carrying baggage from the past. You're, you're releasing that. I mean, there's still some things you need to release, okay? But you're, um, you're not heartbroken, you know? You're not uh, in a place of depression and sadness. You're ready to start something new with someone. And I feel like you're about to be asked out on a date. And this masculine, no look, this masculine knows it. And I feel like they're with a, I feel like this is the karmic and I'm getting chills in my wrist. So yeah, I feel like these two fight about you all the time, all the time. Like every day they're fighting about you. Um, the, the karmic, it feels threatened. Um, she knows that this masculine just can't take their eyes off you. Okay. And she hates that. She's jealous. She's envious. The more you win, look, and you're getting sexier and sexier by the minute, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, you're beautiful. You're smart. I mean, you're everything rolled up in a pretty little package. And this, this masculine knows it. So I feel like these two are going to fight, Okay. Um, well, they, uh, they already do fight every day, but it may even turn physical because this karmic, she's getting irate because your person, they're hooked on you. They're totally hooked on you. I'm telling you, you are their addiction. Um, so yeah, this, they want to come and apologize. So get ready. You could be dealing with the Pisces. Get ready for this apology. This masculine, seriously, they just can't take it anymore. They have tried to keep their back turned. <laughs> oh, I can feel it. I'm sorry. Divine Feminine, this person has tried to ignore this situation. They've tried to pretend that they don't want you. They have tried to pretend that they're not watching you. Okay? These are all things that they don't want you to know. 
Um, yeah, they try to act. It's just an act. Like they don't care. Okay, and now it's to the point this has gone on for maybe three years or longer for some of you. Anywhere from three to ten years that they've been carrying these burdens. And they can't do it anymore. Your masculine's coming in with an apology. They're about to take action. And this karmic, um, I feel like there's going to be a fight that happens between them because she knows this masculine is going to apologize. Okay? Yeah. All right. Anyway, um, you know what? Let's get your advice. And then, you guys, I'm going to take this into Patreon. I'm going to see what happens with this communication. I wanted to pick up the mixed emotions deck, so I'm going to pull a few from that and see how your person is really feeling. Okay, so if you guys are interested in that extended, there's a link to follow. Sorry, my battery died, you guys. There's a link to follow in my description box below that'll take you guys straight to Patreon, okay? And I'll meet you over there in a little while. <laughs> All right, so um, what advice do you have for my Divine Feminines? Go, just keep going by the book. Continue to allow the Divine to lead you, okay? It's very important right now that you trust all the messages from the Divine, and you always have. You always have. I don't see you wavering at all in your faith and belief, okay? Okay. Um, but they are leading you right to what's fated for you. Um, they're leading you to all of these blessings, big and small, okay? You may be feeling like right now you're in like a really lucky time. Like if you think you need something a day or two later, it shows up for you, okay? Or you get that opportunity, right? Um, yeah. So this is what's happening right now. Spirit is, um, they're, they're, Letting all of these blessings come down to you now because you've made it through a difficult cycle. You did everything by the book and now <clears throat> now you're ready for um, your blessings to come in. Okay, some of you may be really tired. Yeah, some of you may be really tired and you're definitely tired of waiting for this person, this masculine to come forward. I'm feeling it's more of an energy, right? It's just leaving you feel drained and tapped. I feel like spirit wants you to keep, to move forward, listen to them, um, know that you are truly blessed. I feel like something here is coming to an end because time is up. There may have been a time limit on this connection. So your person, I don't know, they may be too late by the time they come towards you, but I feel like they're they're getting ready to. But it, they may already be too late. You may have already made your decision because spirit has been talking to you and you listen. And you're tired of being in stagnancy. It's time for you to live. Look, it's time for you to live your life. You know, life wasn't meant for you to just be like in this energy where you're sitting and waiting and like, is this ever going to end? Are they ever going to come forward? Is this masculine ever going to make the right choices or do the right thing? Blah, blah, blah. Right? I feel like you're tired of that. So it's time for you to reach for a new life now. That and spirit is, look, spirit's got you. Spirit's got you, man. I'm telling you, divine feminine. Right? Right? And here's the thing, too, with the leg up, I feel like you're being celebrated on the 5D um, as a special child of the divine, okay? And I, I feel like um, spirit may even be wanting to take you somewhere else. There could be travel in your future, okay, or a location change, a house move. But they want you to kind of be on the move, and they're like, just stick with us, man. Come with us, yeah. You're not wavering in your faith. Yep, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be with you and instructing you on what to build next. Already you've built a solid foundation. That is this. Okay? That is this. And all of these new things now are coming down for you. Spirit may be even giving you some answers 
um, to questions you've had since this person betrayed you, okay? They could be showing you visions. Pay close attention to your dreams at this point, okay? So, um, yeah, all the pieces are falling into place for you now. And these could be new ideas, new opportunities around you. Use your discernment, right? New spiritual abilities. I'm telling you, heighten spiritual abilities because you are, oh, you are so psychic. Okay? <laughs> yeah, so get ready, collective. Spirit's trying to tell you, get ready. Get ready. You are held in high regard. You're standing on a, on a pedestal here. I feel like if you started your own platform, um, it's going to be growing, succeeding. Man, your future, I'm telling you, you are headed towards fame, fortune, okay, success. Be open to receive these blessings. Be open to, these, to the new stuff, 